What's up everybody, Miss Montana here. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video as of yet, but um, it's just um, something that I learned from a previous relationship about myself. And I thought that it'd be very useful if I can bring awareness to uh, different men and women that don't know they have this problem and handle things a certain way. Um, I've noticed... Oh, hold on, Dr. Skype. Um, but I've noticed in a previous relationship that if my guy was unhappy with something that I did or called me selfish or unfair or too violent or whatever, too argumentative, I immediately fix it. Like, I immediately change my ways, like, within a drop of a dime, like, without even arguing or fighting him about the situation. Um, and I think this is very important in a, in a relationship or especially in a marriage that when someone comes, when your spouse comes to you and points out a flaw in you and instead of you fighting them and immediately tackling the situation, as long as it betters your marriage and as long as it's something that's not going to hurt you or kill you, that you can change and it'll be uh, better for you as a person in general and better for your marriage, I think you should be open to change that immediately. If someone tells you, oh, you're too selfish, immediately stop being too selfish. Like, immediately. Oh, you're too argumentative. Oh, immediately stop being too argumentative. Like, that's what I know that I can do. We sometimes get stuck in our ways, but I have been very, very open to immediately change what it is that my spouse is not happy about because if I love that person I want to keep that person around I want to keep that person happy and they're telling me something that'll better me why not change like I'm so open to change I'm open to change I'm open to improvement I'm open to be a better person so I guess I'm just open you know whatever makes the relationship work I'm open to do that so if you point out my flaws and it makes sense and you know like you see something we I mean other people see stuff in us that we don't see because we're doing it we're stuck in our ways we're so used to doing it our way we just don't know that it's wrong they pointed out like yo you doing this wrong boo um, you got to tighten up on that like that ain't working for us immediately change that don't hesitate don't fight it within a drop of a dime the next day wake up like a whole new person it helps your relationship don't fight your relationship um, try and improve your relationship as much as possible Every day. Like I said, you want to outdo yourself daily. But real quick, I just wanted to leave that tip out there. Um, I mean, it could be anything. It could be something about your characteristics, something about your sex game, something about your cooking. Like if my dude was like, yo, you only know how to cook five dishes. Like, you need to step up your game. Like, we can't just survive off steak and chicken and turkey every week. So immediately I would just go and do my research or whatever I can, whatever I can do to better my cooking skills. You feel me? So, yeah, it's all it's all about progression. It's all about progression. It's all about making um, who you're with happy as possible because you have a lifetime together in a marriage. You have a lifetime together, so you have to make it a comfortable situation as possible. All right, leave your tips, comments, whatever concerns at the bottom, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Love some. Hey everybody, Miss Montana Deleon here with another YouTube video. I went to Dunkin' Donuts because Krispy Kreme hot light was not on and I wasn't about to shop there if the hot light was not on. Anyhow, this is a part two video um, because I felt like I, I needed to make one. A young lady left a comment on this first video that says, Okay, Montana, you know you're going to have to make part two to this video. Some people feel that if they make an immediate change, that they're not being true to themselves. I feel that you can alter certain characteristics, but changing yourself every time your significant other finds a glitch in the matrix is unrealistic. Where is the unconditional love? Compromise, etc.? Come on, Montana, dissect a bit deeper into into remaining true while adjusting quote unquote grabs wine glass and weights xoxo that was cute um and 18 people thumbs up that that comment like yeah uh, we agree she need to um mm -hmm. okay let me tell you a little bit about me and why i say the things that i say um, in my videos and my confidence and all that other stuff. I'm a phenomenal mother sucker. 
Okay, when I say phenomenal, I am phenomenal. I'm phenomenal because that's what I strive for. I strive to be the best at everything that I can possibly be the best at. Like my mama always said, you better be the best at whatever you're going to be. If you're going to be a, a, um, a drug dealer, you better be the best drug dealer that is. You're going to be a garbage man. You better slang the best garbage that is to slang. If you're going to be um, a hoe, you better be the best hoe you can be. My mom always say, be the best at whatever it is you choose to be, be the best at it. And I choose to be the best at everything in life that I put my hands on because that's just what I feel like I need to do. Okay, certain things I probably slack up on. I really don't care for it. I don't have a passion for it, but hey, whatever. Okay, let's go back to this video. Okay, back to the comment. First of all. Some people will feel, oh, and if you don't know the video I'm talking about, it, it was about how to take constructive criticism from your spouse, um, meaning like if they point out a flaw in you, like my ex used to be like, oh, you're selfish and you're unfair, and I was like, really, I am? Hmm, I'm going to stop being that way starting now. I'm going to start working on it right now because it's a bad characteristic, and I don't want to be like that, and it just makes me look real ugly when I'm really not ugly. Like, my insides would be ugly if I'm just going to stay selfish and unfair. Like, that's really ugly, cute in the face, but just ugly on the inside. Like, I'm going to be pretty in and out, so let me be pretty inside and out. So I immediately, like, mm, let me fix that. And I'm very open to fixing myself and adjusting how I act and my characteristics if it benefits me and it makes me a better person, I don't have a problem with doing that because I'm all about outdoing myself and being a really, really wonderful person. Let me slow down because I'm getting a little hype. I think it's some sugar in this tea. Okay. Um, some people will feel that if they make an immediate change, that they're not being true to themselves. Now, if my dude told me, oh, Montana, you're selfish and you're unfair. And I feel like making an immediate change to change that is not being true to myself. That's fine. If, if myself was an unfair, unrealistic person, I don't want to be true to that person. That, that's a bad person. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that anymore. I don't want to be true to that self. I want to be true to a new self. A fair, um, loving person. Um, so sometimes things about yourself you're going to have to leave behind in order to become a better person. So don't don't be res don't be uh, resistant to change like immediately. If somebody points out your stuff, you need to go ahead and change that. If you love yourself and care about yourself, excuse me, you're going to take heed to it and be like, what? Me? I ain't even noticed. That ain't good. You're going to have to work on that start right now and change. A phenomenal mother sucker would be like, what? Yeah, I'm about to change this right now because they ain't even going to be me. I'm like too fly for that, like to even be acting like that. Like that ain't even my style. So I'm about to switch it up. Now, an average mother sucker be like, what? I'm not going to, mm, child, what you mean? I'm fat? No, I'm not. Mm -mm, no, this is it. And you don't even know that's how you've been, even though your spouse pointed it out. You want to take offense. You want to be defensive. And, no, I'm not. Why are you trying to call me out? And da -da -da. That's a regular mother sucker. Don't do that. Don't fight it. Listen to it. Take constructive, you know, it's constructive criticism and, you know, dissect it and think about it a bit and reevaluate yourself and be a phenomenal mother sucker and be like, what? You know what? I think you're right. I think I was messing up, but that's okay. No more night after the day. Uh-uh, baby, I'm about to be a new me. Watch what I tell you. You need to be that way. Okay. Second thing she said was, I feel that you can alter certain characteristics, but changing yourself every time your significant other finds a glitch in the matrix is unrealistic. True. But you aren't supposed to change yourself, like I said in the first video, if they point out something that's negative about you. And not controlling, and you know the difference between something being controlling and something to be constructive criticism. Like, they'll do maybe like, oh, you need not go outside, you need not go to the club because... Um, I don't need a dude looking at you and you a hoe if you go out to the club. Blah, blah, blah. I just need you to stay in the house every day. Red flag. You already know he's trying to control you and keep your other hand in the house. You know you don't have to listen to that. You're grown. Um, so do things in moderation. <laughs> now, if it's something else, if he's constantly pointing out, oh, you selfish, you too violent, um, you lazy, you don't want to cook, you getting fatter and fatter, you don't want to work out, you don't want to push away from the table, you can't be like, 
Oh, you just trying to you just trying to talk about me, talk about me and make me feel bad and blah, blah, blah. that's the average person. It's the average person to take it. Like the average woman be like, he just be trying to talk bad about me, girl. And he always be trying to make me No, 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 no. Stop and listen to what he says sometimes. If he says you fat, you lazy, whatever, stop and think, am I? I really don't work out. I did gain thirty pounds. Yeah, he ain't signed up for 30 pounds. He signed up for 135 pounds, and I'm 165 pounds when we met. Like, yeah, mm, he might be right. I might, you know, like my jeans don't fit no more. I might do want to work out and work on myself and stop being lazy. And Yeah, he is kind of right. A phenomenal mother sucker, I see that and take heed to it. And take the constructive criticism and analyze it and be like, you know what, he's right. He write about all those things. And the next step would be, I'm going to handle it right now. But don't worry, I got you. Watch me work. Whether you're doing it for him or you're doing it for yourself, perform me do it for yourself because if he points something out you don't even notice because you just live a life and go in and take care of the kids or whatever, you just fail to take care of yourself, stop and take time for yourself. If it's losing weight, working out, tightening up, whatever, do that. Sorry, it's my daughter. She's moving around and stuff. Try not to get her on the camera. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely do stuff that's going to benefit you. Whether you're with him or not, it's still going to benefit you. You can do it for him because he brought it up, but continuously do it and, and, and get it done because you want to be the best you you can be. You want to be phenomenal. So do that right away. Um, where's unconditional love, compromise, etc.? dissect a bit deeper into remaining true while adjusting um remain true meaning if somebody points something out a phenomenal mother sucker would be like yeah that ain't me that's that's negative that ain't good that's not a good characteristic that's not a good trait i'm gonna remain true to myself and love myself i'm gonna change that start right now today i'm gonna start working on that right now today because i love me too much for you to talk about me like that and it'd be true that ain't a good look so I'm going to go ahead and be true to myself and adjust that right away. This is the difference between a phenomenal woman and an average woman. A phenomenal woman to take this constructive criticism and work on it like that. Because she recognizes the problems and she can, ha she can have a solution. She's going she gonna to make a solution for it right away. Because she's phenomenal. An average woman going to be like, she's going to take it as you, you taking stabs at her. You know, yeah, I may have a problem, whatever. I may be, have an attitude with you or whatever. I may hit you every now and then, but you know what I'm saying? That's just me. You got to set me for me. No, that's the average mug. That's the average mug. That's the difference between phenomenal and average. Which one do you want to be? I don't want to be the one that's stuck in my ways and my man complaining and da da da. I don't want to be that woman. I'm going to be the phenomenal woman that when he points something out that he don't like that ain't good for me or him, I'm going to switch it up, baby. Because that ain't even me. That ain't even look good on me, boo. Which one are you? Phenomenal or average? What you want to be? Like some.